Welcome, Torsten Rich Wimmer here, and I'm stoked to be sharing my favorite new features added to Isotope's latest release, Neutron 3. Now, I've been a power user of Neutron since its initial release date, and these two new features definitely don't disappoint. Specifically, we'll be looking at Mix Assistant, which analyzes then organizes your tracks by type and gives it a quick mix down. And next, we'll look at Sculptor, which is a powerful new spectral shaping tool. Let me give you a quick sneak peek of both. First, I will be showing you how, in about 10 minutes, I used Mix Assistant to mix the track very, very quickly and take it from this unmixed hot mess to this. And don't be fooled, the louder one is not better. We're aiming to mix, not master. So again, we're not going for loudness. Next, I will show you how I used Sculpture to enhance the high frequencies of this drum bus. Here's before. It's definitely a subtle effect, so you want to use quality speakers or some quality headphones. Let's jump straight in. So whether you receive the track as a session or a track as stems that you drop into a new session, the very first step is still the same organize everything and name all of your tracks. I've done this already so that we don't have to uh, do this and take up all of your time together. But I have the drum bus, which is controlling all of the drums together. I then have a musical bus, which has all of the melodic and harmonic content bussed together so we could control them together if we wanted to. Similarly, the vocal bus has both the primary vocals and the reverb inside of it. And then finally we have some various effects, some percussive effects, some swoops, some sweeps, etc. Now what I want to do before I start listening to the track, ironically, is I want to drop an instance of Neutron 3 or Relay onto the various components that I want to control. So either I'm going to place it on a bus or the individual instruments inside of a bus, but not both at the same time. Here's what I mean. I want to use Neutron 3 to control the drum bus. I also want to do some actual mixing inside of the drum bus using compressors, EQs, etc. So I'm going to use Neutron 3 as opposed to Relay, and I'll come back to that in a moment. Once I drop an instance of Neutron onto the track, I'm going to name it Drum Bus. We'll use two S's in this spelling, just for kicks. If I did not want to mix using compressors, EQs, etc., I just wanted levels and pan to be controlled by the visual mixing process, I would use Relay. Now, the musical bus, I want independent control of these instruments because I have a bass in here, I have various types of melodics and harmonic synths, so I'm going to drop Relay on all of the instruments that just have pan and level, Let's do blip, and I will continue the process very quickly and fast forward through, but again, I am naming all of these as we go. Now we are on to the vocal bus, which I want to use an instance of Neutron, since I actually do want to do some mixing with compressors and EQs. But for the effects, I just want control of the levels and pans, so I will use an instance of Relay. Again, to review, if you just want to control the level and the pan, you want to use Relay. If you want to control the compression, the EQ, and do the level and the pan quick mix feature of Neutron, use an actual instance of Neutron 3. Now that we have everything labeled and named correctly, again, that's absolutely critical that you name every single instance of Neutron, we are ready for the next piece of the puzzle, which is adding Neutron 3 Visual Mixer to the master track. Here we see a white oval in the middle of the interface. This is actually a stack of ovals, which represent the pan and level of all of those instances of Relay and Neutron 3 that we just created. 
I want Neutron to do the heavy lifting for me, so I double click to place those back to the center. And I now click Mix Assistant at the top. I'm presented with some instructions that I'm about to give you, so we'll skip that and click Begin. And now we choose which of the instances of Neutron 3 or Relay that we want to include into, the, into this process. So we have the bass, the blip, the effects, the pad, high and low synth, the vocals definitely, the drum bus, we did want that, but we have here drum loop mixing. That was an instance that I added previously to shape the drums before some other effects are added, etc. This is not one I want to use for the automatic mixing feature of Neutron 3, especially since we opted to use the bus and not the individual components inside of the bus for this process. But we see that begin listening is grayed out and even though I'm clicking nothing happens, we have to choose at least one track to be the focal point. So in this case, maybe we want the vocals and the low synth, since the low synth is, is acting as a vocal melodic part during the sections that the vocals are not playing. And now I'm able to click begin listening. We want to start from the very beginning of the track every single time and play all the way to the end. And this is where I would do my first critical listen of the track while Neutron is also doing a critical listen and doing a rough mix for me. Using some studio magic, again, we have fast forwarded to the end of the track so you don't have to sit through that entire process. I now can click go to the results. And here we have the rough mix that Neutron created for me. Let's take a listen to what it did. It's much quieter, it's not terrible, uh, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. I noticed as well that I don't have an independent control for the voice. I did this on purpose to show you, you can edit the classification of something if either you get it wrong, in the case that I uh, chose the vocals to be a focal point manually, or if, for example, it chose to have the pad as the bass, clearly the pad is not the bass, this should live in the musical category, and my bass should be the base. So here we now have a slightly different mix and we can control all of the musical components together and I have independent control of the bass and the vocals as should be the case. Let's take a listen again and I'll do a quick mix uh, with these faders while we listen. And we'll listen one more time. All right, so it's a good first step into the mixing process. Let's go ahead and click accept. And now we see that the ovals are in different positions, again, corresponding to the level of those individual instances of Neutron or Relay. And now I can continue to refine the process a bit if I so choose. Once you do a rough mix and it's kind of sounding okay, create a snapshot by clicking one of these plus icons. So now I have snapshot A and I can dive into the mix and uh, change things to my heart's content, make some really big risky moves, and I can always get back to this mix. Let me show you what I mean. Here's, here's mix A. And we'll move further on in the song. And I'll make a bunch of changes and we can come back to mix A anytime that we want. So let's pan the drums, change the effects. I mean, it's gonna sound completely awful. Big, risky mistakes. 
<laughs> Make some risky moves. See what you like. Oh no, it's horrifying. I could uh, I could save this if I want to to come back to. Uh, I won't. But I can click A and I go back to that original mix. So this is a really easy and convenient way of getting a fast, um, risk-free approach to mixing. I really appreciate the visual nature of the mixer, and especially in terms of the pan and the levels, but I really appreciate the fact that I can come back to my original and save a few, a few different versions of the mix in terms of level and pan, of course, uh, and come back to that using this interface. Now, by way of a transition to our next subject, which is Sculptor, I do want to highlight that Mix Assistant is not unique to the Visual Mixer. If you're familiar with older versions of Neutron, Mix Assistant was actually for mixing individual tracks, not the entire song. And we're going to do that right now. And uh, first, I'm going to get rid of this Drum Bus plugin because I don't like what it's doing. I want to use Neutron for that process. And I'm going to click Mix Assistant. We now have two options. One, Track Enhance, which we're about to use. And two is Balance. If I were to use Balance and click Next, this starts the process over uh, that we just did. So you can access that version of Mix Assistant uh, from Neutron 3, any instance of Neutron 3, not just from the Visual Mixer. However, I want to do Track Enhance. I will click Next. I choose the tri type of instrument, which is drums. I want the style to be upfront and a high intensity. Let's go ahead and click Next. While Mix Assistant does its thing, I'll take this opportunity to remind you if you are enjoying this video, take a moment and subscribe to the Warp Academy channel and ring the bell. We have tons more content coming that you won't want to miss out on. So we have an instance of Sculpture that was added at the beginning of our effects chain, followed by a number of other audio effects. This is where you generally want to put Sculptor. So let's take a step back and discuss what is Sculptor. Sculptor is a spectral shaping tool. Basically what this means is we're taking the entire frequency spectrum and we're breaking it up into a bajillion tiny equalizers. It's not a real number, but think of it like that. Uh, a number of little equalizers all over the spectrum. So as my drum audio enters the input of Sculptor, it's analyzed and then the individual EQs are turning themselves up and down, uh, trying to pull my sound towards a target profile. In this case, we chose a drum profile. We can choose a bass profile or the all-purpose. We could choose add punch. And this would pull the sound towards a target profile uh, differently. It, it would sound different for each one. So let's take a listen to what this uh, looks like and sounds like. I'm going to turn the volume down so I can talk over the top of this. Uh, we see that it's boosting the bass a little bit, and up here it's actually boosting the high significantly while it's turning down the mid-low frequencies quite a lot. Um, it's very subtle, so if you're not using headphones, you might want to grab some headphones. But let's take a look at what the tone and speed parameters are doing as well. Notice that as I push tone up, we hear the highs are now in focus, and when I pull down, the lows come into focus. It's drastically changing the curvature of our target profile. Therefore, it's massively changing the output. Next, I can choose how quickly those individual EQs respond to my incoming signal. And finally, let's say I'm happy with the lows. I really want to focus just on sculpting the high end of this track. I can drag these to indicate specifically where I want Sculptor to work. So now Sculptor is ignoring the lows entirely and only sculpting the highs. Uh, this can be really useful if you want to enhance a specific frequency range of a track, for example, uh, vocals or a violin. Finally, if you'd like to play about with this session, we are providing it as a free download. Simply follow the link in the video description. Also, check out warpacademy.com for more tutorials, downloads, and of course our web store where you can pick up your own copy of Neutron 3. Peace.